Hello and welcome to another update video about Link. So on the Chainlink chart, we start to see um, quite uh, some upside today, not bigger than it should be, but quite um, some nice movements to the upside. We continue to see this possible inverse head and shoulders on the chart that we talked about in previous videos, left shoulder, head, right shoulder. And um, we have a nice five wave move up of the June lows. I still count it as a diagonal. And we had a pullback into our trend reversal or support area. And we're now rallying. So that's exactly what we want to see. However, primarily I would see this still as a B wave. Um, and as long as it doesn't go above 655, I will count this as a B wave. Now in this particular situation, because we've got this neckline here of the head and shoulders at around 665, 665 to 667, yeah, if we get a sustained breakout above that level, then I think we have a valid breakout and I would have to count the wave two already complete here. Um, so it would be a shallow wave two in that case, but at the moment, the move up is only in three waves, okay? And it's just there where we want it, in our resistance area. So from that point of view, um, it's all going according to plan. Just be aware that if it breaks substantially above 655, which would include a break above the neckline at 665, 667, yeah, it's again, it's impossible to, you know, let's say, give you a cent level. It's a bit dynamic, depends on the exchange as well, but there's a neckline on the head and of the head and shoulders. And if we get a breakout, it could be that we're already running in the third wave. Now, you will remember maybe in, in some of the videos recently, I highlighted that after such a five wave move, if it's a diagonal in crypto, especially recently, pullbacks sometimes only get to the 38.2 retracement level. Um, from that point of view, or because of that, I decided to show this time the 38.2 FIP level on most trend reversal, in most trend reversal areas, where one could, if one wants to, start to scale in already, right? Um, but be aware that it can go down to the 78.6 FIP level and still be a wave two, it gives you a large area, but that's why scaling in can be so powerful. And oftentimes the A wave reacts to the 38.2 FIP level. So in this case, I still assume that this is simply the A wave. This is currently a B wave rally and we come down in a C wave later. So but no, at the moment, um, no reason to, do, to believe anything different, but again, I cannot ignore this inverse head and shoulders. I'm not a head and shoulders friend, but at the moment we see quite a few that are actually in line with the Elliott wave count also here, yeah, uh, where the wave two is the right shoulder basically and um, the breakout could send us higher. Litecoin had something similar on the chart and is now running. Yeah, so be aware of that. Yeah, we could get a breakout here shortly. Always try to make you aware of things before they happen. Um, but at the moment, until I get the evidence due to probabilities um, and what a wave to a two normally likes to do, I would expect, first of all, a deeper pullback, maybe to the 50% FIP level at 581 before it actually goes. Okay, that's my update about uh, Link. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.